government always touts the investment pledges generated by each presidential trip or foreign working visit. How has the president fared in getting these abstract promises paying off with real money or capital put in the Philippine economy? A pretty high 800 batting average or four of every five pledged business made have come through. As our Kenneth Pashenta details in this story. Billions of pesos in investment pledges was obtained by the Philippines following the foreign trips of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. this past few months. But have these investments translated in the real? According to the Department of Trade and Industry, the commitment of investments of the president from his trips abroad did not just end up with just being pledges. Because based on the record of the DTI Board of Investments, investment approvals reached a total of 734 billion pesos from January to September this year. This is 102% higher compared to the same period in 2022. Ang maganda rin ho dito ay hindi lang yung actual investment amount, pero yung composition. May kita ho natin na yung composition ng investments ho natin, malaki na rin ho yung tinatawag nating foreign investments. Kasi ho sa DOI, we approve both foreign and local investments. According to the agency, investment approval for foreign investments in the Philippines has also increased which according to the DTI reached 427 billion pesos. The DTI said the removal of foreign equity restrictions, particularly on renewable energy projects, is a huge thing, which the chief executive also directed. Napakalaking bagay ko nun kasi makikita nyo ngayon yung resulta nung mga pumapasok ko sa atin, malaking, mala, madami ho doon sa binanggit kong uh, 427 billion pesos worth of uh, foreign uh, projects are actually in the renewable energy sector. Tapos marami ho doon ang gagaling, ang gagaling sa uh, Europe. From all the investment pledges the President has attracted and brought home from his foreign trips, 80% have materialized. Maganda yung tiwala na binibigay nila sa atin. Yung mga factors na nakikita natin, number one, may mga policy-related uh, factors including yung continuation of the policy reform. You would note na di ba sa past administration meron naman tayong na eh, pasok na ng mga uh, policy reforms including halimbawa yung uh, create, retail trade liberalization, etc. But very important, pagpasok ng administrasyon na to, yung implementation doon tayo nakafocus and further removal of the remaining uh, uh, restrictions. On Thursday, the president is set to visit Saudi Arabia where his schedule includes a meeting with business leaders which could generate new investment pledges for the country. Kenneth Pashente for The Nation.